Brothers and sisters of the light, we have been chosen for the Great Retribution Rework. And while most of the community is very excited about what's to come, there is cause for some concern. And if you don't understand that, you can talk to any former range survival hunter. Let us discuss our beloved retribution and some things we could do to make it glow even brighter than before. If our job as paladins is to restore faith and hope to the downtrodden, then I want to send a message out to my hunter bros and sisters. And I want to tell you straight up, this rework should be yours. As whatever problems Rhett has, they pale in comparison to the hunter class. And I'm looking around for you guys, and I don't see anyone giving you guys feedback. But hunter is in an awful state. I mean, BM is just awkward. Okay, its primary ability is kill command, which is just awful. It's got an awful animation, an awful interaction, and it just seems thematically weird, right? You know what pet I don't want to tame as a beast master? The one I have to tell to bite shit every six fucking seconds. It's just so weird. It's just awful. Um, staying on pets for a second, you don't even get to pick your pet. And then, like, the good ideas they have are like, well, here, you can have another pet. And then you can toss out a pet. But there's no intimacy. You don't even get to pick your pet because certain debuffs are required for certain content. And only certain animals have that. I mean, it's just so weird. Um, it doesn't feel personal. It doesn't feel intimate. And uh, it's all they need, to, they need to address it from the ground up. It needs a rework. BM. I mean, just all three of them do. I mean, MM is functional, okay? We can call MM functional. I mean, they just took away Double Tap. Right, because they said it's too difficult to balance. Makes sense, all right? But they really didn't give it anything. And this seems to be a theme with them in. They damn sure know what they don't want you to have, but they really can't come up with any great idea on what you should have. The ability's okay, and I know they handed you guys a lot more CC, but even the traps and stuff are kind of basic. I don't know. I guess it's functional. And then survival. Oh, dear survivals. My dear, dear former range survival hunters. I know you feel lost and forgotten, but I can assure you, you are not. St. Oklahoma remembers. He remembers the glory of the rain survival. And I remember the sad day it was taken from you. And you were handed this mediocre, horrible spec with the worst fucking polearm animations I've ever seen. But I've seen it. And with the announcement of this retribution rework, we now see a path in which the glory of range survival could be seen again. And I believe, I believe for you, my brothers and sisters who are out there, who want nothing more than to have your range survival back. It's going to happen. I'm telling you now, I can see it. I can see it. Survival will be glorious again. And on that day, you remember, it was St. Oklahoma who came to you in your darkest hour, when you were lost and forgotten. Hang in there, hunters. But I'm really excited that we're getting a rework. And what's going to be interesting to me is how they dress it up. Because right now, I think we can all agree, Rhett's a little clunky, a little too much wind up, and the abilities are a little bland. Things like Crusader Strike, like just hitting something a little bit harder really isn't that interesting. I mean, the blade's cool. And even things like Templar's Verdict. Um, I'd like to see some more interactions for things like that. I mean, this is a cool interaction, but the actual ability itself, Templar's Verdict, and things like Crusader Strike, I'd actually like them to do a little bit more or have some type of interaction because just hitting somebody for a certain amount of damage every time you get three, you know, what would be interesting, maybe do something like with Eviscerate where it does more damage the more Holy Power you have so you could line up. Maybe that's a place that Rhett could get its burst that's maybe a little more manageable because then it kind of has like a top out that you can manage, but I don't know. It just needs to do something that are just flat damage for three holy power. Maybe a stacking debuff the more you lay into someone. And you could just cap 
cap the stacks. I don't know, but there, it, I just feel like overall, Rep feels pretty bland to play. It does great damage. It's got some utility, but it doesn't just have anything that just really stands out. And a lot of its attack abilities just feel really dated. You feel like you're playing with classic abilities while everybody else is playing with updated abilities. Healer protected, bopped, rescued. Healing myself, where's their healer? Right back there, let's get some shit up. Get all the cooldowns out of the priest that Blizzard gave him like 30. If you've ever thought about playing a priest, now's the time. Go healer, go healer. I got you, baby. Run, 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 run. I'll stun this healer. My healer, go healer. No, I got nothing. Got you, I got you, I got you. There we go. Nice. Here's the thing that's got me most concerned, family. What are y'all doing with my pony, huh? What are you planning to do with my pony? Because I see a lot of you all calling for rule of law back. You just want to run around fast and shit. But I got to tell you, the pony's grown on me over the years. I mean, first off, just look at this thing. It's not my fault. Your pony sucks. My pony's fucking awesome. Just glorious. Right? And we've been through a lot together. And you want me just to walk out of this relationship like it never existed? I don't know if I can do that. I mean, what if it like grab people? What if you could pick up people around you and carry them and then drop them off? What if it drops consecrate at the end, knocks people off ledges. I mean, what do I got to say so that you won't fuck with my pony? I don't know where y'all are from, but where I'm from, you go messing with a man's pony, you start crossing fucking lines. Tread carefully. Ah. Uh. Ooh. I think one of the things that Blizzard does the best is class design. I think some of their class designs are just incredible. I mean, I love my Paladin. It's got a lot of problems, and I still love it. So I'm very happy to see them dressing it up. I hope they'll throw some love Holy's way at some point, but we'll see. That's kind of getting real weird now with the spenders and shit, but we'll see what happens over there. But for Rhett, I'm very excited. I was really happy to see that when they talked about mobility, how they were going to, they said they were sticking to keeping Rhett a little less mobile than other classes. And I want to say on the whole, I know a lot of people don't like that, but I like that. I'm completely fine with classes having drawbacks. And since we've already been the wheelchair spec, I'm fine to stay it. I just want there to be trade-offs and it will be interesting to see because Obviously, I think we need some defensive improvement, but it'll be interesting to see how they add it. If they're going to stick to their guns on keeping us not super mobile, then they're going to have to make us tanky enough to survive in a game where they've handed out shit tons of DPS and thrown CC and ranged interrupts out like firefighters throwing candy at a fair, right? They're just everybody's got a shit ton of that. So if we're not going to be able to get away from it, we're going to have to be able to hang in there and, and bang with it. So that's going to be a little interesting to see how they do that. I've seen some of the data mine stuff suggest that they might be adding heals to like Crusader Strike or Templar's Verdict. So maybe baking in some JV stuff to our abilities. Um, I don't know. But one of the things that they're going to have to address is Divine Shield kind of sucks. 
It's a three and a half minute cooldown that Priest and Warriors can take away in two seconds. And in case you haven't noticed, there's quite a few of those out these days. So that's going to have to be something that gets addressed. I imagine they're going to toss us one of these, just maybe baseline. And then we're going to need something from somewhere else, though. Is it another cooldown based offensive or they're just going to have to add in some natural tankiness or maybe both? I don't know. So we'll see how the defensive game goes. But overall, I think they're definitely going to have to increase our healing. I really do like being able to help my allies. And I really like that good, great rep play is having good awareness of the battlefield. And so I really hope they increase those abilities and our ability to help our teammates. As much as I want our damage to be awesome and fun. Get that. Let's get the bot. Uh huh. Let's get the uh, sack out. Not the bop. I said bop. But let's get the sack out on the healer. See, I like this play. Where I'm helping back now. But now I'm going to come in here, right? Ah, I should have done. I, I, I messed that up. I should have done the other one first. That's fine. There it is. I'm very excited about the ret changes. I think everybody is, for the most part. There's always a little apprehension when your class is getting screwed with. But... I think they've got a good idea of where they're going with this. And I think just another aspect of this that's a little underrated is doing reworks is a great, great way to get people to come back to the game. I think a lot of people are feeling like their class is a little stale or just a lot of the classes that are just in bad places, your enhancement shamans and just, we, we don't got time for another expansion. Some of these classes are in a state now that they need a massive update. So I'm very excited to see that Blizzard's taking it on very encouraged by their work so stand by i'll keep you posted on the red stuff and uh i'll talk to y'all soon Boko home out